I'm gonna start this video by talking to you about image sharpening. I hope to got it sharp. Last night I was in bed and I couldn't sleep. I couldn't stop thinking about this image. This is the image I took in yesterday's video. If you haven't seen it, well, go back and watch yesterday's daily vlog. Man, I was being battered by the wind on this mountaintop with the most amazing view in front of me, beautiful light, but I was shooting it at like three, 400 mil in the wind and oh man. And I was thinking to myself, these images aren't gonna be sharp. So I got back to the hotel last night. First thing I did was upload these images into Lightroom. It was glaringly obvious that something had gone badly wrong. So lying in bed last night, I started researching image sharpening and I came across a piece of software that uses AI to sharpen the images. I don't like AI, but I am also aware that in some instances it can be useful. I downloaded a trial version of Topaz Sharpen AI. This is absolutely not sponsored. I was just using the trial version and it sharpened the image and it did a side-by-side -side comparison and so I've just dragged my image into the software. Now this is not a plug, I have no affiliate links, no affiliation, no discount code, no nothing. This is just good old consumer advice. So my soft image has been dragged into the software. And it's just instantly created this side-by-side -side comparison for me. The left side being my original image. How technology has come on is incredible. The daily struggle with all my bags and gear continues. Now I am running late and because I'm running late, I didn't actually do a final sweep of the room. It'd be a nightmare if I left like a hard drive or something. Yeah, we're all good. Just a bit of paranoia creeping in. Oh, a long drive today. Three hours, I think. Ugh. We stop, maybe a sandwich. Thank you. This is a big sandwich. So each day of this trip, I've been given an itinerary and that's been quite specific so far. But today it was a broader area. So I've had to do some research and my research has led me here. I've got to say, <laughs> it's beautiful. So I'm currently in the Parque de Segura. Yeah, it's exactly how it's pronounced. I'm doing a trail, I'm hiking a trail called the, uh, oh, I forget the name of it, the Rio Borosa. So if you've not been following along on these Spanish videos, basically I've been hired by the Andalusian Tourism Board to shoot a series of images to promote the area. And the target is four images a day. Now today, obviously I haven't shot any. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of concerned how today's gonna go. This is a beautiful walk, it's a, a river walk and the river narrows into like a canyon, like a, a gorge. But my concern is it's a Saturday and it's incredibly busy. And yeah, I worry that all of the photogenic areas are gonna be, well, not without people, shall we say. <laughs> There's people there having a nice time. <sighs> You don't need me walking around with a big blooming camera getting in everyone's way. <laughs> All right, this is the uh, first thing that's got my uh, spidey senses tingling. Oh. I reckon there's a potential image here. I've been working the scene for ages, just trying to find the best composition, the best point to shoot from. And as always, the best point to shoot from is the most difficult. So I've got to get my tripod up on this mound here. And that's fine, that's not necessarily a problem. The problem is getting me up there as well with it. Oh uh, yeah, this could end up with me in the bush. We are set up, but look at this, man. That is just so unstable. I've got a two second timer on. Uh, I've got quite a few filters stacked on here. I've got my polarizing filter, 
got a three-stop ND just to slow things down a touch. And I also have my black mist filter just to soften up because another thing, <clears throat> excuse me, another thing I'm fighting against are these milky skies. So everything's just very flat, which actually is better than sunlight. But um, it just means, you know, you've got to work a little bit harder to lift the image. So I'm going to play around with the variation of filters and aspect ratios, but I'm pretty confident this is a square one-to-one -one image. And I have to say, it's a lovely scene. To me, it feels delicate, but yeah, very nice. Let me spin you around and show you what we've got. This is our foreground object, beautiful yellow color. We have the rock to balance the scene. And then we have all of the river, river snaking through the grasses up to these trees here. I'm not including any sky. Right, I better crack on, fiddle around with this image, finesse my composition and uh, continue onwards. is beautiful and of course I would love to continue the walk but I'm here to get photographs and there is no possible way that I can get a shot on this boardwalk. There's uh, too many people, my bag's too big, I can't stop, I can't cross over the fence here so it's impractical. So I think what I'm going to do now, I've been going for an hour and a half, I'm going to make a mad dash back to Rafa, back to the car, the van, maybe try and blast to another location and we're not too far from a big lake which is the location I was going to shoot tomorrow and I reckon I can get there in time for sunset, maybe. But uh, yeah, this is uh, impractical would be the best way to describe it. I'd love to come back here that wasn't, you know, not on a weekend. Uh, I believe it's also like a holiday here in Spain, so lots of people. Yeah, let me just squeeze past these guys. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a challenge for me, this. The crowds, I mean, it's... Um, I suppose it's not too bad for photography, the video side of things, I'm kind of used to it now, as you can see. I think I do a better job filming in public when I'm frustrated, because I just want to get it done. So yes, there we go, we're going back to the van, we've got one shot, who knows, maybe I'll see something, because you know when you're out on a photo walk, half the shots are behind you. Hola. All right, so my ride is here, <laughs> perfect time in Rafa. We are just coming down to the pickup point as I was exiting. It was good, beautiful, beautiful walk. However, a lot of time and energy for one image now. Kind of need a bit of a miracle <laughs> for the remaining hour or so of light that we have left if we're to uh, hit our quota. On the way to the hotel, we should drive past the big lake, the uh, Tranco de Bias Dam. So we are driving to the hotel, but stopping at this beautiful reservoir along the way. And now the thing is, of course, I'd like to get some images this evening, but I need to choose a location for tomorrow morning because they're filming the document, making this documentary about this whole uh, project. And they spend each day with a new photographer doing a full on documentary. And tomorrow's my day. And they want a location to come and follow me, taking images, that kind of thing. And, I haven't got a clue, like I don't think it's suitable where I just was because that was a big walk and not much. But this, this looks pretty nice. I mean, not necessarily from here. Yeah, my hope is that me and Rafa can kind of explore this reservoir over the next hour, maybe get a shot this evening. But really, I'm thinking about tomorrow morning. Hmm. Right, okay, well, this is okay, but not the spot. Another viewpoint. Yeah, lots of viewpoints along this reservoir, but I'm not really sure a viewpoint is a good idea. What I need is a walking trail. Yeah. Mm. I think we'll keep going. Uh, mirador number three, viewpoint number three. I'm starting to get worried. I mean, it's beautiful, like driving here is phenomenal, but uh, we're so high up and there's so many trees that you're just getting glimpses of views. And of course you can't stop on the road. It's um, be completely impassable for everyone else if you did. Oh. Well, 
like nothing else. It smells incredible. Viewpoint number four, middle of the door number four. It's good. But it's not the one. I might stay here and take a photograph for this evening, but I'm actually more concerned with the filming location for tomorrow morning. Like this is fine for taking a shot, like drive the car, get out, take a photograph, lovely, but you can't make a documentary about this. You can't make a film about, you know, man gets out of car, walks 20 yards and takes, <laughs> takes a picture of the viewpoint. It doesn't, doesn't work. Ah, so I think tomorrow morning with the film crew is gonna have to be back down at that river and I have no problems with that at all because I know there'll be no people. Just a bit of a long drive and an even longer walk. Okay, yeah, I think we'll shoot this. This is quite nice, we'll shoot this for now. All right, so I am currently set up and taking a two minute exposure of the view behind me. Uh, not at all excited by this image, in no way, shape or form am I excited about this image. Uh, but I, I would like to deliver more than one photograph from today, so that makes two, that's good. But during the time of my exposure, I've also taken a thumbnail for today's video. That's one thing I've not been doing is, is taking thumbnails because I'm doing this daily vlog thing. It's too full on like video. And then of course the photography project itself, all of the traveling in between and all of the other work I'm doing, such as managing orders and all my other things at home, emails, that kind of other commitments, you know, the usual work stuff that we all have to deal with. Um, so yes, I've not been doing thumbnails. My hope is I can just pull scenes from videos and create something. But whilst I take this long exposure, I've actually done a thumbnail. So there we go. Ah, uh, let's have a look. I think this has just clicked. Yeah, it's not been a good day today. Oh dear me, another day, another hotel. Ah <laughs> oh, man, right, let's get checked in. It's gonna be a squeak. Oh, dear me. 102. Oh, great. This is me. Uh, today's been a tough day, man. Very tough day. I really struggled with the crowds on today's walk. You see, normally I wouldn't showcase that much, but this is more of a behind the scenes vlog. And when you're trying to do photography in tight quarters, um, and there's literally, I must have walked past a minimum of 500 people on that trail. Um, you know, it's a busy Saturday bank holiday weekend here in Spain, so everybody's come out for a walk. Um, and that just made it really difficult to do photography, especially setting up tripods and things like that. So I struggled, but the location was beautiful. And I do want to go back, which brings me onto the next issue slash problem that I have coming up. You see, tomorrow is documentary day. And when I say documentary, I mean proper full production, huge team, big crew. It's gonna be mega, but they want me to choose a location. But I don't know, man. I mean, the hotel that I'm at now is, I think it's about an hour and a half from that river walk that I did earlier on. And then the, the walk itself to get to the interesting bits is another hour of walking. Now I'm fine with that, but I'm not sure how the, uh, the film crew would manage. I'm not too sure it depends on how much gear they've got and how mobile they are. But the only other option, which is what has kind of been suggested on my itinerary, was to shoot tomorrow at that reservoir where we've just been driving now. But I jumped out of four or five different viewpoints and that's all they were with viewpoints. So I don't know what to do tomorrow. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of expectations. I am out of my depth. I am up the creek without a paddle and I have no idea. So 
I'm gonna leave it there. Today is film crew day. I'm dreading it. I have a bad feeling about this morning. Well, this morning is turning into quite a frantic search for a location to shoot. So the irony is between filming is when I'm actually getting the photographs. Yes, yes. Thank, Thank you very you so much. much.